watched our video about good presentations, then you'll know that using high quality and thoughtful images is key to a visually impactful presentation. But how do you get those really great images that you can also use for free? Well, you look for free resources such as Creative Commons licensed content. Don't know what Creative Commons are? Well, we did a video explaining Creative Commons licenses too, so go and check that out. There are many websites out there that offer quick and easy access to good photos. Flickr is one such website, and by using their advanced search function, you can find Creative Commons licensed material for use in your presentation. Just don't forget to check what the license requires when it comes to crediting the original creator. Here's some examples of good images that I found from Flickr, with appropriate credits of course. There are many tools which search sites with Creative Commons content, such as Photopin. While the findings on these sorts of searches can be very mixed, as it includes basically everything that anyone decides to upload, so you do get some rather surprising and unexpected results, you can also get some brilliant ones that fit your theme perfectly. You can even use Google's image search function to find CC content. Just use their drop-down menu to filter your results by CC license and then select a big size so you can be sure to get a nice quality image rather than something tiny and pixelated. But sometimes you want to have a really clean look to your presentation and not have individual credits on each slide. Depending on your style, you can always have a credit slide at the end of any presentation but you can also seek out those wonderfully mythical CC0 licensed images. Well, they're not quite so mythical, as you can use one website to find lots of great stock images which have CC0 licenses, called Pixabay. These are just some great examples of the good images you can find on Pixabay with CC0 licenses, so you don't have to worry about crediting the original creator. But now you have your images, how do you put it all together? Well, here are some top tips of how to use images creatively in a presentation. Think about eye gaze. If you're using a person or even an object on your slide, your audience will follow that individual's gaze, so place your text appropriately. Having a person with their back to your text will alter this effect and not quite hit the mark properly. See the difference? Use full screen images where possible, as this allows for a greater impact. Don't forget to make sure your image actually fills the entire screen and doesn't have any annoying white gaps around the edge. If your picture doesn't quite fill a slide, then be creative with colour or even cloning the image and cleverly mirroring it. With this example, I used a complementary colour to block out some space to my text. With this image, I flipped another copy of the same image so I could create a fairly seamless gap filler. It doesn't always work, so take some time to experiment. Use good resolution images. If it looks nice and clear on your laptop screen, it should look good through a projector if you're presenting from that same laptop. However, try to test it out beforehand if you need to switch machines, as images and text can go a bit wrong on different systems. If in doubt, save your presentation as a PDF to lock your text and settings down as much as possible. You might like your picture so much that you want to use it throughout your presentation or in a poster or report. That's totally fine, as long as it makes sense. You can also use free tools such as Adobe Cooler or Picticulus, which allow you to upload your image and they'll generate a handy set of colour palettes based on that picture to inspire your design choices. But after all of this information and hopefully helpful tips, you might just want to keep things simple and just put some slides together without too much effort, while also making sure they look beautiful with good images. Well, I've got good news. There's a tool for that too. Haiku Deck allows you to create simple slides with CC images, and they'll do all the referencing for you. Using their inbuilt search tool, you can find images that suit your needs, and Haiku Deck will give you the tools to pop text in to communicate your message. They'll populate the references for you at the bottom of each slide, and you're all set. Pretty useful. We offer training on how to put together great presentations so visit the Betty and Gordon Moore Library website for information about our upcoming training sessions or just get in touch to book in some time with us to talk about your presentation needs. Until next time, bye!